How's it going everybody? Sean Pierce Johnson here with New Neighbor Audio Effects and today we're taking a look at the advanced features of Pedal Customizer. The first advanced setting we're going to take a look at in Pedal Customizer is the Virtual Trim Pot. This is a really handy way of changing up the sound of what you've already got. I've got an echelon plugged in and this is the sound that I've got dialed up so far. And it sounds great, but maybe I want to change up the EQ characteristic of those repeats. Going into the pedal customizer window, at the bottom of the screen you'll see the virtual trim pot affecting the tone of those repeats. Maybe I want to make them brighter. Just click on that trim pot and turn it up, and then click update effect. And in three seconds or less, we'll have that changed sound. Now maybe I want to go back to those darker sounds. Clicking on the virtual trim pot again, dialing it back to a darker sound, click update, and in another three seconds or less, we're back to that darker delay sound. Now the one thing I should mention though, is that the virtual trim pot can't be heard in real time. You need to make your selection, update your effect, play around with it, see if you like it, and if you don't, turn it to another setting, but you'll always have to update the effect before you hear that change in the sound. The next thing you can do with those virtual trim pots is disable them entirely. Going up to the menu bar at the top of your screen, you'll see the program menu. Click on default trim pots. That will take away the virtual trim pots and the effects variations and give kind of a stock, all-around good sounding setting. I'm going to load up a new algorithm for the scatter right now. Click update, and in three seconds or less you have that new sound with the default setting for the virtual trim pot. If you want to bring that virtual trim pot back into play, no problem. Simply go up to that menu bar at the top of your screen and deselect default trim pot. Then you're free to use the virtual trim pot however you see fit and explore the sounds. The next feature we're going to take a look at is the forced mono option. We're going to use the echelon to check this out as well. Right now I'm running it in stereo and you get that awesome ping pong delay that we love from it. Now maybe that ping pong sound doesn't necessarily work in the rig you're using or in the songs or music that you're making. What you can do is go up to the top of your screen and click on the program menu and select the force mono option. What that's going to do is that's going to take away that ping pong echo sound. All you're going to need to do is make sure that you select the effect that you want and update the effect before you start playing. After a few seconds, you're just going to be rewarded with a lovely golden ratio echo sound. And of course, you can go back to that ping pong sound as well. Just going up to that program menu, deselect force mono, and then be sure to update your effect before you start playing around with that golden ratio ping pong sound. In a few seconds, you're right back to that sound. This last thing we're going to take a look at in Pedal Customizer is Split Update. And essentially what this is going to allow you to do is load a mono effect and a stereo effect onto your new neighbor pedal. To get there, go to the top menu bar on your screen and on the program menu, select Split Update. 
you'll see on the pedal customizer window that you can now update a stereo effect and a mono effect. This is handy if you have a pedal board or a rig that you oftentimes will switch between operating in mono or operating in stereo. You know, mono and stereo effects have the same essence of the sound, but in the moment, they can definitely feel a little different, and this is where that comes in handy. One of the things that is really handy with the wet reverb is loading the stock algorithm onto your mono effect, and then going to the low modulation sound for your stereo effect. The cool thing about this is that in mono, you're going to hear more movement, and you're definitely going to feel it. But when you're running it in stereo, that wide stereo spread might make it seem like you're just awash in a sea of reverb. That low modulation is really going to tighten things up and bring things closer together. So let's check out those sounds. To hear the mono, just unplug output number two from the stereo effect. in stereo and get that low modulation setting. So to do that, all you need to do is plug back in output number two. Now with this sound, you're going to hear a little bit more closed off, not as quite as wide as a stereo spread, but you're still going to get a lovely reverb sound. There's your look at the advanced features of Pedal Customizer. Like everything with Pedal Customizer, it's compatible with version 1 and 2 stereo New Neighbor effects and is available as a free download from the website, newneighbor.net. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.